Did you ever wonder at night looking up in the sky and you see this white big dot looking down on you? Have you ever wondered how it got there and why it was perfectly placed there? On this video, we discuss the theories of the moon. Deficient Theory the moon was once part of the earth and somehow separated from the earth early in history of the solar system. The present Pacific Ocean Basin is the most popular site for the part of the earth from which the moon came. The fission theory is proposed by George Darwin, a British mathematician and astronomer. Fission theory was proposed in 1879. It did not receive much attention since us humans are not really interested in the creation of the moon that time. The theory discussed that the moon was formed while the earth is rapidly spinning while it was still molten. Darwin explained that is why the moon is moving gradually away from the earth. The verdict. Although this theory explained the similar composition between earth and the moon, it is not generally accepted. The angular momentum of the Earth today is too small for this to have occurred. It would not have been possible for part of the Earth just to escape into space even if it is molten. The Capture Theory A rocky body formed elsewhere in the solar system could have been drawn into orbit around the Earth. The moon could have been formed outside the solar system or inside our solar system and was drawn to Earth due to its gravitational pull. For this hypothesis to function, there might have been a large atmosphere extended around the primitive Earth which would be able to slow the movement of the moon before it could escape. The Verdict one likely explanation is that we see no planets flying by us today. If it was occurring billions of years or millions of years ago, there is a chance that we would have seen the same situation. Also, if the theory was correct, gravity would crash into planets and suns or they would just fly past on Earth. They would not pause and begin orbiting the Earth. nebular hypothesis. The theory where planets and moons formed at the same time. The moon and earth condensed together from the original nebula that formed the solar system. The verdict. According to Gerald P. Cooper, before gravitation attraction would become significant, the particles would have to be as big as the moon. Also, what caused it to stop? If we're not stopped, the entire mass of material would form one large body without planets or moons. 99.5% of the mass of our solar system belongs to Sun and 0.5% belongs to the planets and the moons. If the nebula theory is correct, what would have kept these planets from falling into the Sun? co creation or condensian theory According to this theory, a dust cloud began to rotate. When the mass had swept up most of the material in Eddy, the planet was formed. The verdict. It is said that the moon and earth is just a pile of dust and that it happened to wander near and began circling. But two huge spheres so close to each other would fly apart or would soon crash to each other. They would not endlessly circle one another. If the theory was correct, the moon and earth would have the same density, but the moon has a density of about 60% of that of earth's. They would also have the same amount of iron, which is not. The Stellar Collision Theory The collision theory of the origin of our entire solar system suggests that our planet, moons, and sun all spun off from a collision between stars. Astronomers predict that it occur on the globular clusters of the galaxy every 10,000 years. The verdict. The debris from the collision would travel outward forever and not start to spin to one another. If any pieces was drawn by the gravity, they would have smashed to each other and not orbit since gravitational pull are strong. The 
the gas cloud theory. Gas clouds were captured by our sun, and instead of being drawn to it, they mysteriously formed themselves as planets and distanced themselves from the sun. The verdict. As like the stellar collision theory, it should have spread outward. Also, gas does not lump together. Let us say that it happened. Gas cloud formed as planets, but how would they orbit the sun? Imagine all planets would circle the sun and all moons will circle around the planet instead of circling around the sun too. The Great Impact Theory This theory is proposed by multiple groups on 1970. This theory explained that via Mars-sized body collide with Earth, throwing vaporized chunks of young planets crust into space, thus creating the moon. This also explains why the Earth-Moon system has a very fast rotation compared with the other moons and planets in our solar system. The verdict. This theory is widely accepted today. It explains why the moon has a different density. However, such giant impact would totally destroy the planet. The right weight, speed, and angle of hit to produce an orbiting moon around Earth makes the whole process impossible. If that phenomena would have happened in the past, it could have happened in other moons in our solar system. At the present, there are 60 moons in our solar system, however, we have not observed the same phenomena.